Um, there was one man that, that I remember praying for who had had a stroke in his home and he had collapsed. And a very severe, um, very severe <laughs> issue. And he was brought over to the hospital and the reason I was called in to pray for him was one of my very close friends who was part of our home church. He was one of the guys in our church. He was made the next of kin because the man had no kin in the country. He's actually from outside the country. He's a software and computer engineer. So anyway, he was brought over to the hospital. My friend called me and said, would you come over and pray for him? I walked into his room. He was in the ICU and it was very intimidating because basically the man, by the time I got there, he had, he had already passed on. They had taped his mouth and they, his head had tape and they, his arms were taped down. He was just, there was nothing there. And I prayed for him, you know, he was flat lined on his EEG, there, he was just gone. And he would have been moved out quite soon. So I prayed for him and then I um, left. And then my friend called me very excited and said he opened his eyes. So that was cool. <laughs> so I go racing back to the, to the um, ICU. And I, I look in the room and there's a man, he's all taped up the way he was, but his eyes are open. I thought, wow, this is pretty cool. So I go in and it was really fun because, you know, he's, he can't do anything, but he gives me a little wave. And I, I was very excited with that. It was very friendly and because his eyes kind of shifted toward me, I get a little wave. I go in the room and then his doctor comes in. It was very interesting because here's the bed and here's me, here's the patient, and here's the other doctor. So he comes in the room and completely ignores me. It was like I wasn't even there. He's just interested in the man. And he looks at the man very quizzically and he just didn't understand it. He said, you know, you've had, we never use the word miracle in the medical field. I don't know. If you hear it, it might be once in a lifetime, which is something we don't use. We're not trained to think of things as miracles. We don't experience miracles very much unless you're you know, a doctor who's one of those few that, that pray for the sick. So the doctor said, you've had a miracle, and he was really puzzled, and he said, I don't understand it. But he said, you're alive <laughs> for something like that. And that was the end. He left. I never saw the doctor. I never saw him again. But I kept going and I kept praying over the man. And he healed beautifully. He, he wasn't like the way some of these patients would be. He wasn't paralyzed on one side. He didn't have a drooping face. You know, his face hadn't, he didn't speak a lot of, you know, kind of gibberish where he didn't have normal words coming out. It was beautiful. He was just, he had an amazing healing. It was perfect. It was like nothing had ever happened. And the one thing I did ask him as he, I remember as he was healing really well and we were sitting across from each other, he was no longer in the bed, he could sit up. And, and I said, we kind of got into me praying for him and he's literally crying, he's so touched by what the Lord did. And I said, were you, a, did you know I was praying for you? And he, he said, somehow or other, he actually knew that he had prayer going on for him. He, he didn't really understand it, but somehow or other, even, passed on the way he was, he said, I was somehow aware of this and then was aware of kind of coming back and being alive again. And he didn't have much more to say. I've talked to other people who've come back and they all have kind of similar stories. But it was kind of interesting for him to say. And he actually went back to his country of origin. He was from India. And he had a, um, a wife and a, apparently a wife and a small child because he was here just working and, you know, trying to do a career and, you know, have money go back to th his family. But it was a beautiful healing that the Lord did, and I saw many of these kinds of healings that I just wasn't prepared to see from the medical side.